Hi there, I'm Hal Meeks, and I'm going to take a look at a piece of software that's available for the Mac platform that allows you to do stop motion animation. It's called iStop Motion Express, and it's very easy to use, so let's take a look at it. When you first start iStop Motion Express, it's going to ask you to create a new movie, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'll call this Love for Sale. Okay, so right below it, you'll see your preset for your frame size, and currently it's set on medium, which is 640 by 480 resolution. And that's a decent frame size for the internet, and it'll also work on the iPhone and other devices. Now, right below it, we have our frame rate, which is 12 frames per second, and this is the minimum frame rate you would want to use for animation. Typically, 15 or 24 is a better choice, but we'll go with 12 for today. Let's hit Create. The very next thing you'll see is a live view of your webcam and uh, currently you can see I'm using a Sanyo one here and my other option is my built-in eyesight but I'm going to go ahead and stay with this. Now to capture frames in eye stop motion you click on this red button right here so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay so after that if you want to capture more frames you would use the space bar so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, now I've captured about nine frames. To be able to back up and see the previous frames, just grab this blue slider right here, and you can slide this backwards. And now, as you move backwards, notice that you're seeing an overlay. And what you're seeing is an overlay of the previous frame that you've captured on top of your live camera. And you can control um, the difference between the two of these by using the slider right here. As you move more this way, you're now seeing the live camera view this is now the captured frame. What you're seeing here is something called onion skinning. And this is a way to help you line up objects as you're doing stop motion animation. It makes it a lot easier to keep things in line. Okay, and next thing we might want to do is uh, capture a few more frames. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we've now captured 43 frames. And to go back and play them all backwards, we go ahead and hit this uh, button right here. This will bring us back to our very first frame. Now we hit play, and we wait for just a second, and there we go. And there's our animation, boom. Okay, the last thing you might want to be able to do is delete a frame if you've made a mistake. In order to do that, you hold down the Command key and press the Delete key, and poof, it's gone. But if you make a mistake and say, oh no, I need that back, hold down the command key and press Z and it'll bring it back. Good old undo. The very last thing you might want to do is actually save a copy of this movie that you can share with other people, upload that internet and all that stuff. In order to do that, go under file and go under export. Now, under export, you're going to have a bunch of options for down here for saving stuff. Um, one of the presets is probably a good place to start. Um, since, like for instance, right here, MPEG-4, 640 by 480. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Go ahead and name my file right here, and I press export. And there we go. We've now saved the copy of our movie. Okay, great. Thanks for watching this.